Hello guys, Cabri Ford here today, and yes, it's the season for Bulwark. Now Bulwark has been one of the best medieval fighting games on Roblox, and it's always been pretty underground for many years. And Cabri Ford was like two years old, he made a Bulwark video long, long ago in a distant land when people were still hyped for Deep Open to release. That is still in Bulwark at 100 players. And I say like 100 players now, and sometimes you sit and wonder, how can a game be so fun, so high quality, be so unknown? And that's... I'm going to try and shed some light on Bulwark and why you need to be playing Bulwark every day, all day, right now. Now, Bulwark is a fighting game, probably more specifically a medieval fighting game, something like Chivalry. It is a medieval combat game, and there's a few mechanics you're going to need to master if you want to become a professional at battling in Bulwark. You're going to need to master fainting. I'm fainting! I'm going to hang myself. Fuck this game. Master parrying. I'm pressing fucking F to parry like a dumbass. What is it? Oh! R. Oh, yo. Yo! Yo. I'm ORD! Oh, yeah. And then learn how to use the kick and the punch. The kick's, you know, high knockback and bypasses a parry, pretty epic. And punching people stops them from holding right click and blocking and then uh, if you want to flex on someone you press that x key to flourish on them and now what do you gain from sinking thousands and thousands of hours into bulwark well you get two things epic money to increase your drip like, look at these look at my character i look pretty epic look at all these characters the drip is insane and drip lets you know how much of a loser someone is how much they play this game and the second indication of how much of a loser someone is, is their rating. If their rating is above like 10.5, you know they should kill themselves. That's pretty much what I'm saying. And your goal is to get to that rating. You're trying to get as high of a rating as possible. Now let's get into the explaining the deep, intricate mechanics of Bulwark that make it a pretty balanced and good medieval combat game. Now I'm gonna explain you the mechanics of the game while in the field. Now we see this parrying dummy. When you get parried in Bulwark, you actually take damage. So say you're using one of these heavy-ass weapons, and does, does it swing slower, make it easier to parry? Okay, when you get parried, you actually almost kill yourself in like two, getting parried twice with a big-ass weapon. So it kind of bounces out the, it's not something like deep oak where you're just run around and spam swinging for a heavy weapon and just get parried with no punishment. If you're getting parried with like an executioner's axe or some type of heavy weapon, you're going to be getting murdered. Now as you can see, look at this guy, he's, a, he's definitely... This guy's a drip noob as shit's ass. Look at this guy. We have, we have a drip master over here. And I, I have to call myself a drip master. I think, I think I'm looking pretty stylish. Millie Eilish, some would say. And pay attention to the game. You see how this guy's a 13 rating? Loser. Okay, so let's beat the fuck out of this guy. Okay. So see how I ran out of stamina? I'm no longer going to be able to parry while I'm like breathing heavily. I'm going to swing slower. So you see how he's beating the fuck out of me? And you see how I just got parried and took a bunch of damage? See, I'm gonna fucking die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Help me! And that is why I do not like using heavy ass weapons. Now, as we can see, the game offers a massive variety of weapons. Me personally, my favorite is even using the dagger, like a loser, or the hatchet. The hatchet is a good in between of heavy, good damage, but it's not gonna slow you down too much. You get some good paints in there. And you can actually get pretty specific stats if you look in the bottom left, like say, oh, dagger. Turn cap, 11, I don't know what the fuck that means. Miss cost, stamina drain, stamina negate, release, wind up, recovery, damage. There's a whole bunch of different stats that it will let you know what stats each weapon has and find a weapon suited to your exact bitch ass playstyle. And obviously, we have the drip. Now, I used to have way more armor, but they like fucked up the game for some reason. I swear I used to own a like, half armor in the game, but. That's besides the point. See, you can change up your drip colors. I got some new colors. Let's see. Can... Ooh, berry. Ooh, I'm a berry. Ooh, look at me. Uh, ooh, I'm a, I'm a carrot. Ooh. <laughs> there's no cabbage color, but there's a carrot color, apparently. So, yeah, you can make your character look fucking stupid, or you can make it look cool like I have. The choice is up to you. Hey, this guy's running up on me being aggressive, but you see, I have a dagger. And dagger players are losers. So I can kind of, like, spam one. And good thing with fast weapons is if you fuck up your parry like a dumbass, you can go block immediately. See, this guy cannot handle the knife. Ooh! You see, people's rating means nothing when you're up against the great cabbage lord. Now I'm not using the dagger because it's kind of like a crutch weapon. Like, if you're a fucking loser, use a dagger. 
But let me show you my favorite weapon. The hatchet. Come on now, like. I look like a huntsman. I look like Kratos. Like, I look epic. Now, this game, they're trying to be all medieval. Ooh, let's be medieval. Kind of a bitch-ass move. They should add, like, skins people give a fuck. Like, give me a Kratos axe skin. Give me, like, a Shisui fucking skin, like Zoro sword. Give me some cool shit. And I think that would attract more players, but... I guess we're trying to keep it medieval. You can keep it, keep it medieval if you want. But that's gonna keep the game mid and evil. <laughs> this is also like a minor part of the game, but there are like titles you can get. Nothing too crazy. Like I got the Conquer, I guess we'll equip that for now. Pretty cool. Now as you see, say you can't like really just run around and swing with a heavy ass weapon. Because you see, every time you swing, obviously you lose stamina. And you know, heavier with a weapon, more stamina you're gonna lose. And once you start breathing heavily, you go down to zero stamina and you're kind of like stunned for a while. not really stunned but you're just like breathing heavily you have asthma attack if you just fainted that motherfucker dude this guy thinks he's good he's like dirt rank i don't even know what rank that is okay see i'm already pretty low on stamina in my screen now i'm breathing heavily already oh fuck so yeah when you run out of stamina and get parried or some shit or try and block you can drop your weapon Uh, I'm about to lose this fucking turn right guy. Hold on, let me let me let me lock in. Oh fuck, I'm actually such a loser. Holy shit. There's no way I lose this. There's no way I lose this. Hold up, I'm locking in, I'm locking in. Kratos! So Well, that's gonna be all for me. Hope they convinced you. To spend the rest of your life, spend your life savings on Bulwark. C A B B A B Z gang out. And I'm just ending this video with an epic highlight reel, my favorite clips from the game. Since we don't want the video to hate it eight minutes, we love, we love an eight minute video. So, have a short out. This guy literally only knows how to M1, bro. I parried that. You're dead, bitch. Ooh! I just fucking chopped his head off and went across the fucking universe. I just fucked that guy. I just had sex with this dude. Fuck you. The death cured. You couldn't hear that death. Exclamation point. I'm dead now. This is a fat 14.14 rating. Kill yourself, bro. 9.69.